Battletech, and Trains. That's the tactica, or I should say mission perspective, that we're going to explore in this vlog. Now, one of the things that I've always focused on with Battletech and also miniature war games is to get the most out of your miniatures. You're spending this time building, painting, collecting, collaborating with other players. Have a four-player game, a six-player game. But also, one of the ways to get um, additional uses out of your miniatures to grow that collection is to explore different scenarios. Now, there's a type of synergy um, with your gaming group, your gaming club, your friends. Over time, player personalities, you like to play certain missions. You like to approach different scenarios. But every now and then, break out and try something different. Yes, it might not be completely balanced. Yes, it might not be fully supported by the rules. But see what you can pull in and what you can do. Uh, an example of this would be there's a, another miniature wargaming system by Games Workshop from years ago, Mordeheim. It has some excellent, excellent missions. It's a small um, fantasy miniature skirmish-based game. This has some of the best missions, in my opinion, that Games Workshop has ever written. The narrative, the tactics. I've taken those missions and just rewrite the scenario words and you can play them with a variety of systems. So within that framework, jumping into a train, because um, this was something that we were recently exploring, right? You're always looking to build terrain and go through your bits box and collect stuff. And there was this kind of like sci-fi monorail set. And we're like, hey, that would make a cool um, little objective bunker area. And then that evolves to, well, what if we put some guns on that thing? To now we need a train mission. So how would we do that? Well, Battletech, before I open it up to my fellow mech commanders, Total Warfare, there's rules for everything. Now, I've been through that book many times. I don't know if there's ar an armored train in there, but there's um, naval units, there's artillery, there's bunkers, there's all sorts of other stuff. It would be very easy with Battletech to use the vehicle creation rules. This is the great thing about Battletech. Literally, there is a, it's an art in itself. There is a template to be able to essentially build whatever you want. So what if we built, depending on the battle value, to play a 100-ton train or a couple of sections of train or maybe even have each section um, be certain tonnage and have a certain function? If we laid that out, we model that up, 3D print something. Um, for me, then, the question is, we want it to be a little bit challenging. Obviously, there's going to be a fixed track. And, and train could be, depending on the tech level, could be literally a train, could be a monorail, could be a maglev pushing through, could be some sort of hover thing. Doesn't necessarily need a track, but this is the best way to go. We're going to have that on the board. Now, maybe some mercenaries drop in, wait, and when the train goes by, grab supplies take care of someone, steal something, grab some tech. Maybe it's known, maybe it's unknown. Maybe um, different sections of the train have different objectives and tech in it, and you don't really know what it is. If you're playing part of a campaign and you just want to kind of go in, grab some stuff, see what you can get, and get out, a lot of different scenarios on there. I would pack that train with medium lasers and short-range missiles, um, a lot of close-in punch because I would assume based on the cargo it's carrying, you're going to want to disable it rather than destroy it. And you're going to have to get close. Of course, motive hits could be um, the tracks. It could be the magnets pushing it forward, the monorail, whatever that is going to be. But then we get into also some ideas of air defenses or other defenses. If I've got some train delivering point A to point B, I might want some gun towers or some artillery towers or, or something defenses along the way. Then perhaps maybe a small little uh, force in reserve. Not, not too much because the battle value is going to be primarily tied up. I'd have infantry pouring out of that train, taking up defensive positions. But a small little um, force in reserve that possibly represents when the attack begins, naturally the train is going to call in for defenses. And it might be something that can't be jammed. I'd roll a D6 and, or D8. I think a D10 would be too much. D6 to D8, and that's when these reinforcements arrive. And then I would probably roll off um, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six on the map 
to see what side they come in on to represent these forces responding for wherever they are in the rest of the game. So a great example, do trains exist in Battletech? Well, they do. Absolutely. The tech is there. You could easily whiz one up through the creation rules, but I think it would make a very, very interesting, interesting and fun scenario.